She is the one and only Joanne Wood joining us right now. There she is. Hello, Joanne. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Good to see you. Good to see you too. You seem, Can you uh, hear me? I hear you just fine. Uh, you, you, you're very Hi. Las Vegas out right now. You've got the Raiders, the Knights, you're wearing the hat. I mean, other than the accent, I would never know that you're from Scotland. <laughs> I've still got my, got there it Scotland. is. There it is. There we go. There it is. And it feels like <laughs> you're in, a bit cold, so. it feels like you're in transit right now. You're wearing your coat. I mean, it feels like you're a little uncomfortable. Am I wrong? I mean, I just rushed from PT and got here, and then I was like, oh, I need to do a Zoom. Oh, crap. It's, it's on iCloud, so I had to quickly oh, no. download that. So I know your time is precious, so I was, like, stressing out a little bit about that, but here we are. We're good. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, if I could break the fourth wall for a second, Joanne, because, you know, we go so way back. You sent me a text last night that really kind of hurt my heart. You you said something to the effect of, oh, you know, I, I've been resorted to a last minute guest. I, I can't, I, I can't, you know, explain why Danny Rubenstein, your great manager, asks you when he does, but you're never a last minute guest for us. You're, you're, you're a prime A plus guest. I hope you know that forever and ever. I was just joking, busting your balls, but he called me last night and I was like, ah, I got a lot on tomorrow morning, but he, uh, just so you know, he sacrificed his uh, club seats for the Raiders for to get some things uh, switched around so that I could be What? Here. He traded in club seats <laughs> for the Raiders for this interview? What a mistake. But I appreciate it. <laughs> That's very kind of him. What a guy. What a mensch. Uh, well, it's great to talk to you and, and happy International Women's Day. This is a big day. So you're, you're the representative of all the women in the world on this program. Um, big fight for you coming up in 10 days, going back to the UK, first time in forever. Someone asked me this question. A fan sent me this and, and they wanted to ask, and I thought it was a great question. Wh where is Joanne at mentally? We haven't seen you in a year. This is a homecoming of sorts. Uh, you know, they're all must win, but it feels like an important one for you. How are you feeling going into this one in just 10 days time? I feel awesome. You know, like the worst thing that's happened to me in this camp is I chipped. You tripped. <laughs> I, I ran over a boulder and um, chipped my new Tesla. So I'm good. I'm feeling good. You know, like my last two fights, I had big injuries going into the fight and uh, I just feel like, hey, if that's the worst that can happen, my body feels good. I'm excited. Uh, had a year off, reset, and I'm ready to get back in there. Do, do you feel like this is a really, really important one for you? Uh, I mean, in the way of if I don't beat this girl, then yeah. But I've still got one more fight uh, on my contract. And uh, I'm trying not to put that pressure on myself, but this girl, I feel like it's a perfect fight for me uh, to get back in the win column and, yeah, just go in there. I'm excited to go back over that side of the pond and fight. Uh, the London cards have been great and, uh, yeah, just excited about that part and try not to put that pressure on myself because uh, I've done that in the past. So, yeah, I'm trying to have that more you know, this is going to be awesome. It's going to be fun and just going over there and doing what I do every day. By the way, is the accent going away a little bit? You just said awesome and you sounded like an American. Is is this happening? Hey, that's what happens when you live with two Americans. Yeah. Uh, and also, I have someone else that wanted to meet you, actually. Oh. I got a dog last year. Wow, okay. What kind of dog? A pug. Oh, look at this. Wow. That is a classic right there. Oh, look at this guy. Oh my gosh. You're one of those. You, you like, I have a dog too, but I, 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 st I, I draw a line at the kissing or the licking of the face. It's a little gross for me. I, I thought that I wondered if you had the dog, but yeah, I, I was, this is my first dog. So I've, I've never been like, I never got what people were talking about. Like they love their dog and stuff until I got one. And, and yeah, now I'm like obsessed. I, I yeah, couldn't agree more. Oh, it's so <laughs> gross. We adopted this dog and I was like, oh, please no. And now I'm the one walking her every morning, every night, take, like bathing her last night. Like 
I am the I am in love with her, and I feel like she has cha- like she has brought out this different side of the family, completed the family. So I'm now, I guess, a dog person. My dog's name is Matcha, like the tea, you know, like Matcha. She has green okay. eyes. She's a Bernadoodle. Uh, maybe one day we can have a dog play date. Yeah, but yeah, sorry, come back to your accent. Thing, yes. Comment. Yeah. A lot of people say that, but I think it's just the thing. I've been in Vegas now for five years, so I guess it was only natural that it was going to fade a little bit. But as soon as I talk to FaceTime my my mom or any of my family, like it comes out because John's always like, what happened? Have you spoke to your family? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. You- I've never really had that thick Scottish accent. Uh I feel because I've traveled so much, but yeah, it, 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 it hurts my feelings when people say that I'm sounding like a yank. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we won't, we won't harp on that. Although I must say you've really uh, ingrained yourself in the Vegas culture. I see you at the hockey games, at the football games. Do you actually like this or are you kind of going along for the ride? Because I see you with the gear and everything. Like, are you a legit hockey and football fan now? Now I'm talking about American football, of course, not the, uh, the European stuff. Yeah, I love it. Uh, the only thing about the hockey is it starts at 7 p.m. So I'm like, this is this is hard because I want to be in my bed for 10. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I love, I think it's exciting. I uh, love going to the games. Raiders as well. I would say if I had to p- pick between Raiders and the Golden Knights, I would go see Golden Knights more. Wow. I feel like uh, it's more exciting watching hockey. Okay. But yeah, I love going. We're um, we're both season ticket holders for the Raiders and Golden Knights. Look at you. Uh, You're a true blue yank. <laughs> that that confirms it right there. You're an NFL and NHL season ticket holder. It's amazing. By the way, you mentioned um, it's been almost a year. March, end of March will be a year since your last fight. W- why were you out for so long? Just because in my the last fight with Brasso, I I tore my quad two weeks before that fight, so. And then before that, I injured my fingers. So I was just like, I was wanting to stay active. And staying active is great when like, when you're winning or when your body's feeling good. So I just felt like, hey, this isn't going my way. So maybe I need to take some time out and get my body back to feeling somewhat normal. You know, we'll always have those little nagging injuries. But uh, for what we do, we should be going in there at least 90% 90% would be good. Uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to work on those things and uh, take a little reset. You know, that was three three losses in a row there. So, yeah, I just felt like instead of pushing and trying to get back in there, I thought just take some time and get my body feeling good. And, uh, yeah, and UFC were good with that. So I felt like it done me good. In the immediate aftermath, how did you handle that loss? Three in a row. Um, I, I saw you were upset afterwards. I saw, obviously, understandably so. How did you deal with it? Yeah, it was it was really tough. And then you've got the whole like, oh, I'm getting older, and you know, I'm only got two more fights in my contract. Do I want to like? Back then, I was like rushing things because I felt like oh, I wanted to have a family and. Uh, you know, like everyone around me is like my era are, are retiring. So that pressure as well. But I feel like I put that pressure on myself to stay active and just come on, like keep fighting. But like I said before, like that's all good if your your body's holding up. But I should have been wiser. And I don't know why after so long fighting eh, and, and being in this game that I'm not. But you just... I guess it's the fighter mentality. You just think, oh, it's going to be okay. I'm going to win. I'm going to go in there and it's going to be, everything's going to be dandy. But at the end of the day, now I'm like, crap, it's not like just, I'm not young. I, I can't be dumb and just do it anyway, you know? And so here you are returning a year later and who would have thought when you fought Alexa Grasso a year later, she'd be the champion of the women's flyweight division. Were you shocked to see that on Saturday? Yeah, I was, but it was funny because after our fight, she had uh, done an interview and she's like, yeah, I know Jojo likes to spin a lot. <laughs> so 
it was funny watching her do that to Valentina. Not funny. Yeah, not yeah. Exactly, but it was it was crazy to see. Oh, she done the exact same to uh, Valentina. Mine was a little bit different. I feel like uh, with my quad being uh, torn, I posted because I landed funny on my leg, and then she jumped on the the rear naked choke. But uh, it was beautiful. I saw that fight and the finish was beautiful. Loved the, the both of them. Yeah. And yeah. It, I, I was shocked. So going in, did you think like Valentina everyone, was going to win? Uh, I mean, you can't really bet against Valentina. She's done amazing in the, the division. So, yeah. Obviously, I wanted both of them to to win because <laughs> they're both sweethearts. But, uh, yeah. I, I thought Valentina was going to do it. It, it does Again. seem. It does seem though that, um, and, and there's our, our bud right over there behind you. It, it does seem like uh, the gap has has closed considerably, right? Like even if they run this back and she wins, you know, with all the, you know, there's 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 so many young fighters at 125. Like I think 125 is now the most interesting division in the UFC as far as women's MMA is concerned. It's way more interesting than 35, 45, of course, even 15. There's so many great fighters now at 25. Um, and, and it feels like the gap has closed very quickly. Are you surprised at it closing this quickly or were you expecting this at some point? Yeah, I said when it first started, it's going to take a while before the uh, the division gets that excitement that it has in 115. So it's definitely getting up here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for it, finally getting here. Obviously, I'm probably only get another year or two in the the sport but as a fan i'll be uh, always paying close attention to that only a year or two left you think yeah well yeah we'll see what happens in this next year and uh you know i'm getting old i'm an old lady you're not an old lady how how old are you I mean, let me see here yeah you're 37 you're not 30 it says 36 here I know it's been like that for forever. It's wrong. Oh no! It's going to change. It's going to change. No. You're going to make it change now. No, 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 no. It actually should say thirty-three, right? Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Well, by the way, if you're old, then I'm a, a dinosaur because I'm four years older than you. So enough of this old nonsense. All right. I mean, you don't need your body to do what you're wow. doing. Wow. Right? What are you talking about? I need to look good on camera. I mean, I'm not getting beat up, but I can't be like a schlub. Not when you're wearing those tweed yeah. shirts that are awesome. By the way. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. What about the fact that you're getting an O2 fight? This is exciting, right? I hope you get a hero's welcome. I hope because you've never had an O2 fight in the UFC, correct? No, I fought. I fought in England, London when I was fighting Muay Thai. So I, I, I can believe that. It's going to, everyone's going to be there and cheer me on. So uh, I'm excited for that. Because it's still like, although a lot of Scottish people couldn't get tickets. That's the only thing I'm really? worried about. But I mean, England, Scotland, we're, we're pre pretty close. And I know I've got a lot of English fans. So they're going to raise the roof. Will your family be there? Yeah. Wow. Okay. This is great. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to see them. I was just back there in June last year, so it's kind of, I've seen them, but uh, it's going to be good seeing them on fight week. I know they get very excited. It would be nice if they let you walk out with the kilt. Someone, yeah, someone was saying to me last night, like, why do you not ask for the, yeah. like, tart on the, the Venom track? So maybe, maybe that's what I should call out when I win. Well, my hey, thing Dana. is, why can't you at least walk out with it to represent? Like, they let Shavkat walk out with the hat. They let Khabib walk out with the hat. Everyone's getting a little something. I don't know if this means anything to you, but I always loved your old school outfit with the kilt because it, you know, represented where you're from and who you are. And and I miss that that little je ne sais quoi. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It shows you your personality. And I was actually thinking about getting a Scotland flag on my palm. Because, you know, I, I'm very proud and I always take my flag out there. And uh, it's going to, like, even on the weigh-ins, like the fake weigh-ins, you're up there. I've always got my flag there. And it's, it's, it's just weird now that 
you don't get to do that. So I was thinking like now I can just like yes. stand up on the skin. Yes, I'll probably get in trouble, but <laughs> who cares? I mean if it's a tattoo, like if I get it here or I don't know, something to think about. And this is a legit tattoo really, like, you're talking about or like one of those like like temporary ones? Oh, I was thinking I was all in there, but now that you're oh. You got my mind thinking maybe I can just do it with felt tip. Yeah. <laughs> or like like henna. You know henna, you can do those and then it kinda of washes yeah, off, yeah, yeah. you know? And like, I mean unless you want it, it's kinda of cool to have your flag on your on your palm. I think you're gonna get in trouble here. Okay, all right. Well, you know what? Tell them Ariel had this idea and they'll be okay with it. They'll green light it right away. They'll be like, Jojo, you're right. Yeah, you're out. You're right. You know, about that fight <laughs> against Luana Carolina, uh, let us uh, cancel that. By the way, you joke that you're a last minute guest and all that stuff, which is nonsense. Still immortalized on this set forever are the gloves from your wedding. Still here. I just want to let you know that. Both yours, you know, the 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 bride and groom. So I don't know if you see that every time, but uh, it's it's right, right here by my side. Funny story about that, da Danny, that was actually Danny's idea to get those. And I was like, no, like, sounds like a really expensive gift for people not to, like, use them. And you know how many people, like, I see some people wear one and then, like, an odd one on this one. I'm like, no, we stay together. And then I, like, walk past the gym and there'll be one on the floor or two wow. on the floor. And I'm like, these these gifts, like fighters have just been like, ah, yeah. Wait. Don't care. <laughs> but I, I thought you would be proud of the fact that over a year later, people are actually still using them. Yeah, as long as they don't leave them on the floor. Yeah, okay, you just, want some like, respect. Next time. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I, I feel you. And by the way, still to this day, the greatest wedding pictures of all time. I have yet to see better ones than uh, than yours and John's. I mean legendary. I, I can't imagine you not looking at those constantly and just saying, wow, we really nailed this. Yeah, we did. And we love Halloween. So we wanted to do a Halloween theme and I, my dress was really expensive. So I wasn't going to like change out. So I had the idea of how can I keep my dress on, but go as a scary, oh my gosh, it's been a, a, an hour we've been married and we're, we're dead. <laughs> we're dead now. <laughs> Till death do you part. Uh, so that's symbolic in a way. Uh, I'm very happy to see you back. It has been a while. I love the fact that you're getting to fight back home uh, in the UK. I love the fact that you're getting to be on one of these big cards. And I hope that the uh, the O2 explodes when you walk out and, and, and shows you the love and respect that you deserve because you're a pioneer of women's MMA. So I'm glad to hear that you're in a good spot, healthy, mentally, all good. I wish you the best, Joanne. Go get them. We'll be cheering you on. Awesome. And just so you know, I'm always on standby. Oh, thank for you. you. Did you change my name in your phone, by the way, or is it still the MMA hour? Oh, still MMA hour. I love it. Even with the number change, you stuck with it. Yeah. I, yeah. Cause I thought it would change, but you, I guess you haven't got your, your picture and your name. No, I'm very, so I'm very I private. Have... Yeah. I'm very private. I, <laughs> I let you choose the name. So thank you. No, you've done awesome. And thank you for your support over the, Geez, I, I can't even remember the last time. Was it 2014 I was on? The, the last time, time you were on the show? Oh, not the, the the first time, maybe. Not the no, last time. Not the last time. Oh, yeah. Maybe something yeah. like in the Invicta days. I think it was the Out McFighter when we were doing the tryouts. Okay. Back then. So, yeah. It's almost 10 years. Appreciate it. I'm an old fogey, and you're still very much in your prime. And you're going to remind everyone next week who you are, all right? Good luck to you, Joanne. Yeah. Get it done. Thank you Can't so wait much. for it. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. You too. There she is, the lovely Joanne Wood.